Welcome to Right on Track, a songwriting podcast. Thanks to Tone for tuning in. I'm Demi Michelle Schwartz, and I'm thrilled you're joining me on my songwriting journey. So kick back and relax, don't fall flat, and remember, stay right on track. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to episode 100 of Right on Track. I cannot believe I just said that. 100 episodes? What? That is wild. This journey has been so magical, so absolutely incredible and life-changing, and I cannot believe that 100 episodes has come And I am very, very excited to celebrate with so many of my friends from all around the world. So stay tuned to hear some lovely messages from them and help me celebrate 100 episodes of Right on Track. Of course, to kick things off, we have a quote that I get to read for once. How awesome is this? So the quote I selected is by Nelson Mandela, and it says, Remember to celebrate milestones as you prepare for the road ahead. I really resonate with this quote because I tend to be somebody who is always looking toward the next thing. I'm always going a thousand miles per hour. And sometimes when I hit these milestones and have these small successes and wins along the way, Sometimes I forget to stop and celebrate those and reflect on how far I've come and all I've accomplished. And so this quote means so much to me and it fits perfectly with this episode because I'm definitely taking a moment to stop and appreciate this whole journey and celebrate right on track hitting 100 episodes. So with all of that said, let's hear from some familiar friends from right on track. First, we are going to hear from Allison Leah. Daniel Neshi, and Celine Ellis. Hello, hello. This is Allison Leia. I am a folk pop artist based in Nashville, Tennessee, and I've been on the Right on Track podcast about four times, and I feel like every time is just more fun than the next. Um, But thank you so much for having me on and allowing me to share my experience. Um, I absolutely love the Right on Track podcast and think it's meant for anybody that is interested or curious about the music industry or any up-and-coming musician wanting to learn more. I feel like what's so unique about the show is that in other podcasts, you have either one artist talking about a lot of different topics or a lot of different artists talking about one topic, but on Right on Track, you actually get to hear about so many different sides of the industry, and I feel like there's something really crucial to learn from every single episode. So... I am so happy that you're hitting 100 episodes, and I can't wait for 100 more and to see everywhere the podcast goes. I think it's really incredible, and just more more and more people are going to keep discovering it. So thank you. Hey, it's Daniel Neshi. My experience with the Ride on Track podcast has been great. Every time I've been on, which has been a few now, the conversation transpired on its own accord. Everything was so easy and free-flowing. I didn't feel like I had to force any topics whatsoever. Um, the contributors of the show have been great. I've been on there a few times and my musical experiences from the other guests have been completely different. I've listened to a few other episodes myself and the greater music community is getting a great range of writers, performers, composers, and they're getting a wealth of information and a lifetime of experience. So this show truly has been a great source of valuable information for the community. Hey everyone, my name's Celine Ellis and I just want to wish Demi and her amazing podcast Right on Track a happy 100th episode. I've been a big fan of this podcast way before I appeared on it, but that's one of the wonderful things is that I reached out to Demi and said, hey, I'd love to come and talk to you about some music stuff that I'm passionate about. That's one of the best things about this podcast is that people come on and talk about the things they're passionate about. And when you're passionate about something, it's always a much better conversation. The conversations that Demi has with her guests on this podcast, including the uh, music-themed game show she hosted uh, recently as well, it just makes for really easy listening and great entertainment. Here's to the next 100 episodes. Thank you so much, Alison, Daniel, and Celine. 
One of my favorite things about hosting this show is getting the opportunity to connect with so many talented people from all areas of the music industry. Every guest I have on inspires me. I always learn something new. And of course, it's special giving others a platform to share their stories and speak about topics they're passionate about. As an artist myself, I appreciate everyone who takes a chance on me and allows me to share my music and my story on their platforms. So it's a blessing being able to do that for others. Along with my guests, I've gotten the opportunity to build relationships with such talented and kind people behind the scenes in management and PR, one of which is Rachel Selig. Thanks to my connections in the UK music scene, I knew Rachel before I started the show. But after Right on Track was only out for a couple weeks, she reached out to me to see if I was interested in having any of the artists she was working with on for a chat. And that snowballed into a beautiful friendship, and Rachel consistently sends me artists. Every time she sends me an email, I get this huge smile on my face because everyone she pitched to me has been fantastic. And so now we are going to hear from Rachel and also Amelia Quinn, who is one of the artists Rachel connected me with. Hey, this is Rachel from Scarlet River PR. I have had the pleasure of being on the Right on Track podcast twice over the last year or so. Um, and I've had a wonderful time. What I love about the way that Demi conducts her interviews is that she really focuses on a particular topic um, with every artist, not on every time. So I feel like the podcast, it's always relatable. It's an interesting conversation. It's very exciting. And I don't think that you get that with an awful lot of other podcasts. Um, so I feel like that's really going to contribute to the greater musical community in so many ways. You can be an artist, a music industry exec, or just a fan of music in general, and you'll find something in this podcast for you. Um, so I thoroughly recommend it. And thank you so much to Demi for being awesome. Hey, I'm Amelia Quinn. Um, I think something unique about Right on Track is being interviewed by an artist who understands the ins and outs um, of being an artist, it kind of creates this great discussion and buzz off of each other. So it was a pleasure talking with Demi, and uh, I can't wait for more episodes. Congrats on a hundred! Thank you so much, Rachel and Amelia. As an artist, I've made many connections with talented radio show and podcast hosts. I feel it's so important to lift up other creators, and one of my favorite ways of doing this is reciprocating their support by inviting them on Right on Track. During the first 100 episodes of the show, I've gotten the opportunity to sit down with some of my friends in the radio and podcasting worlds, so now we're going to hear from a few of them. First in the radio world... We are going to hear from Linda Conway from Voice of a Woman, Eddie Davis from Heart of Indie Radio, and Chris West from The Tripwire. I have had the pleasure of being a guest on Right on Track with Demi Michelle three times now. I've always said that I find Right on Track a valuable resource for independent musicians, musicians just starting out and a refresher course for life as an independent musician and what it entails. And it's like snapshots of the industry in many different forms, from songwriting to networking to recording to radio to professionalism to kindness. And it covers every aspect in such bite-sized chunks that you can listen to and learn very quickly. And it's just something that has taken off because of that, because it's a very useful resource in that sense. We've done one about women in music, and every time we chat, it's always open, honest, vulnerable, to the point, and it's always a pleasure to do those podcasts and talk about things, talk about things in the real sense, and. I just want to say a huge congratulations to me for a hundred episodes of Right on Track and long may there be a thousand more episodes of Right on Track because it is such a valuable resource for all musicians. And if you're a musician, a radio presenter, in the music industry at all, it's a very valuable resource to learn all these things about the music industry. So thanks to me and I look forward to being on more episodes in the future. 
Hi, this is Captain Eddie from Heart of Indie Radio. You may know us better by our station names, The Memphis Show, Hearts of Nashville, The European Show, Love Journey. I have to say, at first glance, I was a little skeptical. Okay, another podcast. But I was pleasantly surprised from the clever name, Right on Track, how clever is that, to the actual content. It was pretty clear this was not going to be just another podcast out there competing with thousands of other podcasts rehashing essentially the same content. No, I was really impressed by how well the creator, to me, Michelle, has organized the show, including invitations, follow-up, professional communication, and something that's very much in my wheelhouse, follow-through, doing exactly what you say you're going to do. That, folks, is the true mark of professionalism. So for me, in my humble opinion, Right on Track stands out amongst all the other shows clamoring for your attention because it's well planned, well thought out. The content is tightly wrapped around a specific topic, though she's not afraid to take a detour when it makes sense. To me, doesn't just rapid fire a laundry list of questions at the guest, but rather engages her guest with meaningful dialogue that's relevant for the listener. That's so important. You know, as a radio station owner myself, I can attest to the amount of work that it takes to create a show or a podcast for that matter. There is a tremendous amount of forethought, planning and execution, follow up to pull off a show of this magnitude successfully. And I believe it's exactly the sort of exploration that is needed and relevant to the independent music industry as a whole. I can see this podcast being around for a very long time as it's a great tool for all indie artists globally to collectively share their experiences, their successes, their failures. You know, it's just as important to talk about what does not work as it is to talk about what does. It has been my pleasure to have been invited as a guest on this podcast several times, and I would be delighted to come back anytime. Hey everyone, I'm Chris West. I was on Right on Track. I had the honour of being invited onto Right on Track last month in December to talk about the relationships between artists and broadcasters and to uh, kind of share a few stories. You know, being on Right on Track was wonderful. The experience was just lovely. To me, is a music lover and a music nerd. And when those two are combined, you have the makings of the best kind of person. And what she is bringing to this podcast is so unique, so passionate, but at the same time, it, it lacks the kind of formality or the, the kind of seriousness that a lot of other uh, programs along the same lines provide, but yet it is still strong and hard-hitting in content. And that's what makes it so great. My experience, personally, was, was lovely. Demi's questions, and particularly when she sent me to look for a quote, made me really reflect on my own craft. If I may be so bold as to suggest, it made me understand why people love what I do. And it, it was a boost to my own self-belief to actually take that step back and analyze what I do and what I bring to the table and reflect on that. And that was really, really special. Such a wonderful experience. And I'm, I'm so blessed to be a part of the Ride on Track family and Congratulations to me on 100 episodes of this juggernaut. May there be another 100, 200, 300, 400. I want to be on a 500th episode, all right? Whenever that happens, I'll be there. <laughs> Keep doing what you do. And thanks, everyone, for listening. So much love. Thank you so much, Linda, Eddie, and Chris. Your continuous support of my music career means absolutely everything to me. So thank you so much, and it was an honor having you on Right on Track. Now let's hear from some of my friends in the podcasting world. We are going to hear from Ronnie and Brian from Outside the Circle and Cody Murphy from Weekdays with Murph. Hey, everyone. I'm Ronnie. And this is Brian from Outside the Circle Podcast. 
We had the privilege of being on episode 85 of Right on Track. And also having Demi on our show, Outside the Circle podcast, a country music podcast, on episode 70. Right on Track was our first time being the guests rather than the host. You know, we enjoyed her unique approach to connecting different aspects of the music industry. So Demi, congratulations on 100. And we look forward to 100 more. Hey, this is Cody from uh, Weekdays with Murph, and and I just wanted to say uh, uh, congrats on uh, on a hundred episodes, Demi. And uh, uh, when I was on the show back in February, uh, it was seriously one of the absolute uh, best podcasts, and and, uh, and one of my uh, favorite podcasts to to uh, do. I think the show uh, um, contributes to the the. Uh, um, country community in in such an incredible way that uh, that uh, it takes you behind the scenes of 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 the industry and uh, and I just feel like uh, uh, like you're gonna do incredible things with it over the next uh, hundred plus episodes again uh, um, um, congrats Demi thank you so much Ronnie Brian and Cody. It was an honor being on your shows, and I loved having you on mine. So if you're listening and you're interested in being on Right on Track, please reach out. If you're a songwriter, an artist, in the music business in any way, or if you're a publicist or manager working with an artist you feel would be a great fit, I would love to hear from you. My email is rightontrackpodcast at gmail.com. Nice and easy. Nothing makes me happier than opening my email to find requests for the show. I'm always looking for new guests, and I'm always ready to get inspired by more conversations. So please reach out to me. So now let's hear from two more previous guests of this show, Jess Minecci and Lindsay Farrow. Hi, my name is Jess Minecci, and I was on episodes 28, 73, and 95 of Right on Track, a songwriting podcast. Demi is one of my best friends, and I'm so proud of her and how far this podcast has gone. Um, As a non-musician, I love listening to the podcast because I learned so much about the music industry, and all of the guests have been amazing. I'm honored to be one of the guests on Right on Track, and like I said, even though I'm not a musician, I just had so much fun being on the podcast and having fun with Demi and other guests. So thank you so much for having me on the podcast, and here's to many more episodes of Right on Track. Hey, Lindsay Farrow here. A big congratulations from me to Right on Track for a hundred episodes. I had a really great time featuring on Right on Track, talking about all things Christmas, as well as sharing information on myself as an artist and my music. It's really great being able to get together as artists and talk about not only our music, but about things that really matter to us as well. Something that I think Right on Track really nails down. Congratulations again, and I look forward to hearing another 100 episodes. Thank you so much, Jess and Lindsay. So now I want to say a huge thank you to all of the listeners. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Thank you so much. I am completely blown away by the amount of downloads and streams this show has gotten, and also by the number of places it's been listened in. I'll get to that in a second, but first I just want to say that I started this podcast because I love talking to other people in the music industry. I love hearing other stories. They always inspire me. I always learn new things. And so first and foremost, I'm doing this because I love to connect with others. And the fact that these conversations are getting heard is extremely valid dating you know like these conversations aren't just going out into the void and no one's listening like getting to see the episodes go up every week and the number of listens they're getting and shares is truly truly mind-blowing and I'm so grateful so now for the number of places right on track has been heard in so I am currently on my statistics and as of right now at the time of recording right on track has been heard in 65 countries 
That is wild to me. 65 countries. So wherever you are in the world listening, thank you so much. Whether you've listened to one show or all of them, I'm so grateful for your support. And please just know how blessed I am for all the support and you taking time out of your lives to listen to these conversations. So I have a quick favor to ask of you. As you may know, Shows getting ratings and reviews can help so much and get it to new listeners who need to hear these conversations, maybe just as much as you do. So whichever podcast platform you're on right now, if it gives you the opportunity to rate it or leave a review, please consider taking just a moment to rate the show five stars and leave a kind message. Thank you so much for all of your support. And of course, if you want to let me know any topics you're interested in hearing on the show, or if you just want to reach out and let me know what you think of it, please reach out via the same email. It's right on track podcast at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. So yeah, that's that's it, guys. <laughs> we did it. This is the 100 episodes. I can't believe it. Before I go, I have some final messages to share from previous guests. So let's wrap things up with Madison Gregory, Yana, and Gilad Paz. And I'll be right back after them. Hi, Right on Track listeners. This is Madison Gregory, and I have been a guest on the show about three, four times, and it is without a doubt one of my favorite shows to be a part of. My favorite aspect of the show is how real it feels. Whenever you're listening, it feels like you are in the room with Demi having this conversation. And I think that brings so much value because it makes it relatable to all the listeners and just makes you feel like you're not in this alone. I am looking forward to where this podcast goes and I wish you guys nothing but the best. This is Yana. I'm delighted to have been a guest on Right on Track. I love chatting to Demi. She's a wonderful host and we could have been chatting for a long time if we could. What I enjoyed especially about being on the show was simply chatting to fellow musician who's been in the same position that I had been at that time. So talking to someone who knows what it takes to achieve your goals, to fulfill your dreams and all that is absolutely priceless. So my heartfelt gratitude to Demi for having me on the show. Congratulations for everything you've achieved so far. And I'm absolutely certain this is just the beginning. So good luck in the next chapter. Hi to me and all of the listeners. This is Gilad Paz with The Marketable Musician. I cannot believe it is a hundred episodes for Right on Track. This is an incredible landmark. This is really exciting. And you know what? It is not surprising that you got to this landmark because this show really just brings such a different way of looking at the life of a, of an artist, the life of a musician, the life of a songwriter, and you are doing a wonderful service to the music community and specifically for singer-songwriters and performers who are out there doing their thing every single day. So, mazal tov on a hundred shows! Thank you so much, Madison, Yana, and Gilad. Thank you to all of the guests who sent in lovely messages to help me celebrate Right on Track hitting 100 episodes. Thank you so much for listening. I have so much in store. I'm already working on new episodes coming very soon. I'm always looking to chat with new people on the show. So again, if you want to be on, the email is rightontrackpodcast at gmail.com. Thank you so much again for all the support over these first 100 episodes. Let's keep going and get 100 more. But until Until then, stay right on track.